Hello, this is a getting started tutorial for Timers and Clocks version 1.2. In this video, we'll talk about using the 3D analog clock and the UI analog clock prefabs. These prefabs, you can just drag them and drop them into your scene. Let me go ahead and move this a little bit closer to the camera so we can see it. And let's also create a UI canvas in the scene so we can attach the UI analog clock prefab as a child of it. So now that we have both of these prefabs in the scene, let's adjust the directional light a little bit so the 3D clock is a little bit more visible. And we'll take a look at the analog clock inspector. So they both use the same script. It's called analog clock. By default, they're both set to use system time. So let's just go ahead and press play and see what that looks like. We can see it's 2.15 and 30 seconds right now. And th that's how they work. By default, you just add them into your scene and they will display the system time. You can also offset the system time by adjusting this offset value. And that can be used to simulate different time zones if you want to have multiple clocks for different geographical regions inside of your scene for whatever reason. Now another option that we have is we can assign a custom timer so that it can read the timer's value and display that in an analog display. Let's go ahead and drag and drop a timer into our scene and our timer set to counting. Let's change that to count up and let's set a custom start time. Let's say we want it to start at 5 a.m. So there's 60 seconds in a minute and there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we'll multiply 60 by 60 and 3,600 seconds in an hour. We want to start at 5 a.m. So we'll multiply that by five. So 18,000. So if we set our start time to 18,000, we'll start at 5 a.m. And we want to change our finish time to something beyond that. Maybe we don't really want it to finish and we could just set a really long finish time. So now we can take this UI analog clock, for example, and have that use the timer's time. And by default, since it's still set to use system time, they're both displaying the same time, but once I uncheck that, it'll actually switch to display the timer's time. And we can see that started at 5 a.m. And if we switch back, then it switches back and the timer's still running, so we can toggle between them. And that's about it. That's how you use the 3D analog clock and the UI analog clock. These prefabs do have their own pivots. They're basically just using simple Unity primitives. They're using a cube, so you can replace those cubes with your own meshes to create unique visual styles. You could also replace the clock face with whatever style you like. And the same is true for the UI version. That's just using a standard Unity image. Um, each of the face and the pivot hands. Thank you.